Hi, this is Nolan from Benchmark, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up your Hemisphere S631 to take static data through microsurveys. Field genius! So what I'm going to do to begin here is I'm actually going to reconnect to my S631. So to do that, I'm going to head to the bottom left corner here and hit the plumb bob icon. And then in the menu here, I'm going to hit connect. And you can see here right now I have GNSS reference selected. So that's my base. If I wanted to do this on my rover, I can do that as well. But for this video, I'm going to show you how to do it through your base. But it's the exact same process for your rover. And I've already set up my instrument profile for my S631. And if you want to know how to do that, I'll just link to a video in the top right corner. So all I need to do here is hit connect. And that's going to initialize my Bluetooth connection. Okay, so now that I've initialized my Bluetooth connection, I'm back at my map screen here. And what I'm going to do before I begin to take static, because I want to use my base as I normally would, I'm actually going to set up my base just like I would any other day. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to shift from known position to average geodetic position, and then I'm going to hit start reference here. And then I'm just going to average for the point of this video 10 points. Uh, in the field, you can do more than that, or if you're feeling really brave, you can do less than that. But uh, just to be quick here, I'll make it a quick 10 points. And when that's finished here, I'm going to hit set position, and then I will save this point to the database. I'm going to call it point ID 5, and then I'm just going to give it the description of base. And then before the video started, I measured my HI to 1.436 meters, and this is an important thing to enter because if, it, if you enter it properly, you don't have to enter it later in your Rhinex file. But I've got it entered here. If you want to know how to properly measure the HI on your S631, I'll again just link to another video in the top right corner there. But once I have it properly entered, I'm just going to hit OK here at the bottom for my antenna height. And then on my link configure screen, I've already got my base radio set up correctly, so I don't need to change anything. And if you want to know how to do that, that video I linked to in the beginning there on how to set up your base, that'll show you how to do that properly. So I'm just going to initialize this connection here. And once initialized, again, I'm back here at the map screen and I'm ready to set up my receiver to take static data. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head to the top right corner here and hit the wrench and screwdriver button there. And in my instrument settings window here, you can see that in the top right corner there is an option for raw data logging. So I'm going to hit that and then I can give this file a name so it's easier to find on my receiver later. So in this case, I'm just going to call it base. Maybe you want to call it base one or the date, something like that, something that's easy to remember, something that's easy to find later, because you, you could end up with a lot of static files if you repeatedly do this process over and over again. But for my case, I'm just calling this base, and then you have the option here to set your rate. So the rate is how often it's going to take an observation, so 5 hertz is 5 observations every second. Um, since I'm just doing this very quickly, that's what I'm going to do. Um, the Further up this list you go, the faster the observations are going to be taken, the lower down, the slower the observations are going to be taken. So the faster, the more data you get, the slower, the less data you get. So in this case, I'm going to choose 5 hertz for my purposes, and then I'm going to hit start logging, and that's going to initialize the receiver to start taking my raw data, my static file, and it's going to save that file onto the receiver. So if I just close out of this, I can now head back to my map screen and then I could go set up my rover and just survey like I normally would. So if you were doing this on your rover, it would be the same thing. You could set it up to take your static file and then just go and continue to use your rover as you normally would. But since for this video, I want to show you how to properly take this raw data logging file, I'm not going to go survey here. What I'm going to actually do is I'm going to end this raw data logging file. So to do that, I'm again going to head to the top right corner and hit my wrench and screwdriver button there and open up my instrument settings menu and head back into my raw data logging menu. So now that I'm in my GNSS raw data logging menu here, what I'm going to do is hit stop logging and that's going to kill the process and end my static file. And once it's cleared there, you can now see that I'm ready to take another static point if I wanted to and and or I'm ready to shut down for the day. And if you want to know how to download this static file you just took from the receiver, you can check out our S631 static video or you can check out next week's video where I show you how to download your static files from the Hemisphere S631. And that's all for today's video. If you have any questions about anything you've seen in today's video or you have some ideas for other videos, please let us know in the comment section down below or you can give us a call at 1-888-286-3204 or visit our website at bench-mark.ca.